Here you see the steel basket being filled with lavender. We are using the 120 kg steel pot today. The lavender is packed in carefully as you can see. We want to get it evenly packed in so there are no air gaps for the steam to shortcut through. We also want the lavender pack to a specific density to force the steam through the flowers, thus extracting as much oil from it as we can. My husband Keith will climb into the still basket and jump on the lavender several times during the packing process. We only use flower heads and as little stalk as possible. Then we place a wire mesh on the top to hold the lavender in place, which he also jumps upon. The filled still basket is then weighed and carefully placed in position. You will see that it is sealed by a rubber o-ring at the bottom and again on the lid. Keith carefully positions the pot, clears any debris from the top flange, closes the lid and clamps it with six G-clamps. He then introduces the steam into the bottom of the pot. At the other end of the condenser we see the separator flask and the buckets at the, the, and the lavender water outlet ready for collecting the hydrosol or lavender water. The steam which comes from an overhead pipe enters the still pot at the bottom filling the whole pot with steam at atmospheric pressure that is one to two pounds per square inch. The steam will extract the oil from the flowers and carry it with it into the long condenser. From there it will be separated into oil in the separator flask and the lavender water or hydrosol collected in buckets. It is important that we complete this next stage within five minutes of the steam being turned on and what we're looking for is the liquid condensate, a mix of oil and water, flowing which usually occurs in our still at about two and a half minutes commencing with a puff of steam which smells really sweet of lavender. This timing is crucial to maintain the quality of the essential oil. Now I'll try to point out when the condensate starts to run. It's just here on that long flowing line. This is the pure essential oil flowing here after being separated. The separation pro process continues as the oil is made. You can see that the condensate enters the separator flask via the funnel which goes all the way to the bottom of the separator and collects in a special cup in the bottom designed to stop the oil from escaping out through the water flow pipe. As the separator is filled with warm water in advance, the collected oil floats to the top and collects in the narrower neck of the separator. We're just going to pause on the oil bubbles so that you can see, see how they rise to the top in the neck. We maintain the water level at the oil outlet by adjusting the steam flow so the oil flows out through the outlet pipe at the top and the lavender water or hydrosol, which is heavier than the oil, exits through the hose at the bottom where it is collected in plastic buckets. We get approximately 2-3 to litres of oil and 60 litres of lavender water per half hour still pot run.